Hello everyone, in this short series of tutorials we'll cover the very basics of the cameras. Whether you're shooting on DSLR camera, whether you're shooting on DJI drones, or maybe you're shooting on DJI Asma Pocket, maybe on the phone even. After watching these tutorials, you will become a better content creator. So, let's start. Cameras are shooting different frame rates. You have 24, 25, 30, 60, 100, and so on. So many different frame rates. So how to choose the right one for your video? Let's find out. Well, first of all, what is a frame rate? Frame rate is the amount of photos, individual photos, your camera is taking every second when recording the video. So if you think about it, when you press a record button on your camera, your camera starts rolling and every second of your video contains a certain amount of photos. And then later your camera stitches all those photos together and then you have your video. So when you choose 25 or 24 frames per second, every second of your video consists out of 24, 25 photos then later stitched up together and when you shoot in 60 frames per second your camera recording 60 individual frames every second of your video and so on and so forth so how to choose the right one well it depends on what look you're going for if you want to have a regular you know conventional cinematic look if you want to have that then you need to record 24 or 25 frames per second so you will have a natural natural for your brain for your eyes look if you want to slow down your footage you want to stretch it out on your timeline on your computer then you want to record in 60 50 frames per second or even above you want to have higher frames per second so when you slow down your footage you will have more individual frames in between and it will be more pleasing to your eyes you will be not losing any frames So you see, the more frames you have, the more you have options of slowing down your footage. But that's not always the case. That's not always what you're going for. So it all comes down to what you have in mind when you want to record the video and what look you're going for. And that's it for that quick tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check our previous tutorials about ISO, aperture, motion blur even. So yeah, they're pretty straightforward and very quick. So we will not lose anything but gain knowledge. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.